Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about resistivity. Now resistivity is represented by this letter here, rho, and you've seen this letter rho before for density. Density is a material property as is resistivity. So this is why they're represented by the same letters. Now resistivity is a property of a material and what it is, is resistance is opposing the flow of electrons. But if I made it longer, if I took a longer wire, it would oppose more electrons. If I made it wider, that's more avenues for those electrons to go. So it would, the resistance would go down. So clearly there must be things affecting the resistance. The material itself is affecting the resistance. So resistivity is a very clear way of looking at a property of the material and looking how other factors affect it. And this is the equation of resistivity here. Resistance, and that is in ohms, times the cross-sectional area over by the length. Okay. And if I... Uh, rearrange this to have resistance. So I'm going to have R equals rho L over A. This is what I was talking about before. If you had a longer piece of wire, a longer piece of wire here, I would have a bigger resistance and that makes sense. Long cables, you travel, if you imagine trying to go from A to B, long cables, the, um, you're going to eventually sort of uh, hit, those electrons are going to hit some of those atoms. Whereas if I had a really big area, a cross-sectional area, my resistance goes down. And that is because there's loads of different routes for those electrons to take. So the chance of them hitting an, uh, an atom is reduced. Now, as per usual, it's important that the area and the length are in metres. Okay, and the units, just to make you aware of resistivity, so it's ohms times metres squared over metres, so it's ohm metres, okay, and this means that your resistivity must, must, must be, uh, your area in cross-sectional length must be in uh, metres. So let's give you an example. I have a wire, which is one kilometre long, and has a cross-sectional area of two millimetres. I measured the resistance of this to be 10, um, 10 ohms. What is my resistivity? So first of all, I need to find my area here. So I'm gonna use this formula here. So the area, it's a circle, so pi r squared, so that's pi, times r, so that's the diameter, and they like doing that, so please be aware. One times 10 to the minus three squared. So one squared times by pi is 3.14 times 10 to the minus six meters squared. My length, of course, is one times 10 to the three meters, and my resistance is 10. So let's put it into the formula. 10 times 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 all over 1 times 10 to the 3. And I get a value of 3.14 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. Your resistivity should be a small number. This is a, mirror, uh, uh, a material property, okay? And it should be small. The smaller it is, the better the conductor. Now, things like wood and sand have a resistivity of 200 ohm meters, which is pretty high. They're not very good conductors at all. In fact, they're more likely to be insulators. Whereas things like nichrome wire and constantan have things around 10 to the minus eight, 10 to the minus seven. So it's important that when you're dealing with a conductor that you have, when you get your answer for your resistivity, it should be a low number. And that is resistivity.